I sincerely and in honest believe what the ministers had taught me because I was not a minister myself. I sat under the ministers listening to them and what they told me I swallowed because to me the position of a minister was the highest in the nation of Islam. And I listened to them and I obeyed. My responsibilities and duties in the nation of Islam was to push the newspaper. That's all I wanted to do. That's what I did very successfully. All the way into Canada from Oakland, California in 1964, 65. I listened to the ministers teach me and I believe what they taught me. I believe that they had gotten it from Moses. I believe that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad had said what they said that he said. And I believe that up until three or four years ago when I decided to start reading for myself what Moses said. And Moses did not say many of the things that I've heard the ministers of Moses say. And today, after Silas Muhammad has stood up, now the ministers once again are standing up. If these ministers were so heavy, these supreme captains and these captains and these lieutenants, where were they when Wallace was downing the Honorable Elijah Muhammad? Where were they when Wallace was downing our God and Savior? Where were they when Wallace was tearing down the nation of Islam? Where were these heavy ministers? Where were these ministers who knew so much about the scripture, who knew so much about what Moses taught? Where were they then? Why didn't they stand? You could find them behind their closed doors, whispering. Why did they come outside and tell Wallace to sit down? Because they didn't have the courage. Why didn't they have the courage? because the truth wasn't in them.